afternoon, ma'am. Um, I would like to make an interview with you about your experience abroad. Um, so, would it be possible to uh, introduce yourself for my fellow students, please? Uh, yes, thank you very much. Um, I'm Pascal Sion. I have been abroad for six months in France for a company uh, we had. And it's, uh, this company is doing uh, some paints, paints for the DIY. DIY is for in uh, shops, as we have Castorama, Brico Mat, Brico Rama. And uh, I have been, I done this yet already 10 years ago. So it was a very good experience to be abroad uh, for six months. So I say yes, it's a good experience. Um, why did you decide to go abroad and why France? Um, why I think it's good for everybody to do to go abroad only not for the language but as well for uh, the culture to see different cultures to see diff to experience something different that we have in normal life every day home going to the work so if you are abroad you can uh, you meet a lot of other people you meet a lot of other cultures and you see a lot of people and it's good for language, it's good for the experience and it's good for the mind because you open your mind and uh, it's positive. Okay. Um, was it really necessary to know the language? Was it possible for somebody who couldn't speak French? Oh, let's say in the beginning it's difficult because I did this uh, as I said a long time ago so my language was not perfect at this moment um, but I can say you that because of the experience and the people we you talk with you learn a lot but before you go I really think you need to have some knowledge about the language for the country you go if you go to France and you say I don't speak French at all you cannot say uh, good morning uh, and the language or in France uh, bonjour au revoir uh, merci I think it's very difficult if you do not have any any experience or any uh, experience in this language you learn a lot by the time but uh, you really need to know the basic of it and once you have the basis of it i think it's uh, much easier to do to be in contact with the people because you are working abroad so we will have to you have to talk with people you are in contact yeah. with people and if the, you cannot speak and if they talk to you and you cannot understand anything, it's very difficult. Yeah, but so. it helps a lot that you say, okay, that uh, uh, for... So uh, you need the, the basic to make you really need the, uh, Yeah, you really need the basics to have the context. Otherwise, if you do not have basics, I think it's very difficult. Yeah, okay. Um, how did you stay in contact with the people at home? Oh, let's say that okay at this moment a uh, couple of years ago it was not like today where you have whatsapp where you can call free so uh, at this time it was a little bit difficult but okay during the weekends uh, we call to the family and we stay in contact with the family uh, uh, okay with maze as well but it was not uh, facetime as you have today where it's very easy where it's, uh, and you had like an arrangement or something did no. you stay there for six months or did you come back every month or something no i came back uh, i think two times if i remember well so uh, okay because it was france it was not so far away uh, but uh, it was very good experience yeah okay um the relation with your co co-workers were they positive negative how did you make a relation with them did uh, you still have the relation with them did you cut the relation yes uh, for sure because okay uh, I, 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 I arrived there so it was language was a little bit difficult so they helped me a lot uh, they helped me a lot even during the weekends because they know i was there yeah. And the weekends I couldn't go home, so uh, I have a very good relation with my colleagues over there because the weekends we saw each other, or the evening they say, okay, let's go to a movie, let's do something. So this was uh, very good and positive. Uh, with some of them, one or two, we still sent some mails or some contacts to say it was, they were still good friends, I should say no, but uh, okay, sometimes we still mail yeah. to each other. To be in contact and I just ask oh, how is the business today and uh, 
things like this, but to say that I will stay in contact always, no, but they were very good colleagues at this moment, yes. Oh, okay, great. Um, was it difficult to adapt to the... Um, well, where, where do you have troubles with to adapt in the culture of France to get in the factory? Uh, the culture was not so difficult because it was France, so the, I think Belgium and France we have a little bit the same culture and the same way of living. Uh, difficult with the culture I will, did not have. Uh, okay, the only thing is maybe because you are abroad that you sometimes you feel alone. Yeah. Uh, you feel alone, okay, you try to make some contacts with uh, other people, with new people. But uh, different of culture, I did not have this problem. Uh, and the colleagues were very nice with me because they knew I was there alone for six months, so they helped yes. me a lot. Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, so, yes, my last question um, Would you advise this for other people to go and, and to go abroad? Sure, it's positive. Like, yeah. Why? Uh, sure, positive because it opened your mind. You learn uh, another culture. You see a lot of people thinking of another way. You learn your language, and not only French. I wasn't mm. French, but I have been speaking a lot of English as well. Yeah, the whole world is there. Well, yeah, you speak different languages, so you're otherwise you're at home. What are you going to do? You're going home every weekend to do each time the same. And if you go abroad in another factory, in another company, in another culture, you meet other people. And I think for sure, sure, I will advise this to all the people to do this, to be six months abroad, away from the routine of every day, away of the weekends going home every weekend. Yes, for sure, I will advise this. Okay, perfect. Um, yes, these were all my questions. I thank you for your time. So, will you go abroad one day? Uh, I hope so. I will try it. Thank you. Thank you.